He was just all over the guitar, and it you know, impressed me mightily. For a while, I thought, you know, there's two, two guitar players there. It was unbelievable. It was, it was meeting a big star, it really was. It's like meeting Elvis, only better. Elvis didn't finger pick. If I had my way, if I had my way. Reverend Gary used to play on the streets in this neighborhood and others all around Harlem. So he kind of like boxed himself in the, on the street corner kind of deal and survived because he was just a tough guy. Reverend Davis was also a teacher at Brownie McGee's Blues School on 125th Street. There was a part of him that didn't want his music to die with him, and there was another part that didn't want these young kids to be able to do everything that he did. We really wanted to learn note for note, every little nuance that he played. I'd always ask him, can you play me a blues? And he'd always say, is my wife around? Where is she around, you know? But sometimes when he didn't realize it, he'd be playing a blues, and she'd walk in and says, don't you be playing that for that boy, you know? No, oh, and he loved women. He liked to drink, but when he was singing, you could hear the conviction. Damn near any musician who who was a real guitar player in New York in uh, in the fifties and sixties was influenced by Gary. <laughs> There was maybe one person, two people in a hundred that knew they were listening to a, a Gary Davis tune. Probably half of them thought that we had written it. I don't know. The writer of this song is the person we'd like to dedicate it to, and his name is Reverend Gary Davis, and he's been here at the festival. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. It's the most readily identififiable, unique, but highly personal style. Good God.